What's up, nerdlings? What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for Wizarding World boxes? I hope so, because there's a lot of them. <laughs> hey, nerdlings. It's Jazby from Nerdy Blazing Cosplays, and you're watching Do You Nerd? As you can see, the Wizarding <laughs> World Loot Crate box has taken a little while to get here, and they kind of played catch up. They did. They tried to send out as many as they could catch up with, and that would be four. All right. Well, let's get right into these. Let's do it. The theme of this box would be spells and charms. Swish and flick. Practice your magic skills with the most iconic spells and charms of the wizarding world. We'll see about that. We'll see how many we know. All right. So first and foremost, looks like we've got a candle. It, that was originally $30. I was going to ask if that's a candle. I think so. And it's called Incendio. It appears to be a bit melty. Uh, yeah. Okay, I can't get that open. wonder how long that sat in a warehouse. But it appears to be a Hufflepuff candle. That it is. <laughs> and it does have the Incendio spell, so get a little fire action there. Watch out, Scarecrow. You, does it smell like anything? Uh, not really. I'm not getting anything. Wax. Wax, yeah. <laughs> um, so I will say, clever, Incendio, a candle, not something you typically see in a loot crate type of box. But yeah, uh, if it sat in yeah. a warehouse for a while. Uh, <laughs> Maybe if this got here on time, it would have been a different story. All right, looks like now we have house washi tape. What's in here, washi washi? I have Hufflepuff tape and then just kind of like generic Harry Potter characters and then Reparo. So I guess this is instead of, since they can't really send out Spello tape, they're going to send out washi tape. All right, so is that really all it is, is tape? Mm -hmm. Just like... Like decorative tape? Yeah. Huh. It's interesting. But yeah, uh, I mean, you can wrap your pencils in it or decorate trapper keepers or something with it. Sure. <laughs> Organization is the result of owning the trapper. It's got a security flap, see through pocket, and lots of folders to keep you organized and together. We have a house ghost charm, a keychain. It says it lights up. don't know how. There's nothing to squeeze. I know. So no instructions. <laughs> uh, who is it? Is it the friar? Yeah, it's the fat friar. Okay. So we have my house ghost, Friar Tuck. Okay. That lights up. We're not sure how. <laughs> um, it's cute. There's nothing on the back of the card, which would have been a great place to list instructions, yes. a name of who it is, in case maybe you didn't know, and uh, maybe like in case you need to replace the battery if the battery's dead or damaged to like make it light up again, maybe <laughs> put the back of the card to use. Maybe a little bit. Looks like a pin that says Obliviate. Oh, that's not a pin. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's Hermione's wand. <laughs> Apparently, she needs a little help. She's a little, little limp. <laughs> what if, is that? I tell you what. <laughs> if your wand is that limp. You probably I, would want to obliviate and I, forget all about it. I was going to say, I think she needs some spell of tape. Huh. It, I thought it was a pin. <laughs> right. Woo! Expecto Patronum. Expecto. 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 Oh, okay. Swish and flick. Okay. Oh, I, don't, I don't think you need to be flicking that anyway. What? <laughs> this is a weird box. This is a weird box. All right, so we got the button. <laughs> Do we even want to guess? Oh, I don't even remember what we were doing. There were like Patronus's uh, dark marks. Yeah, well. Horcruxes, I think. Let's I see. Don't know. 
Oh, it's a unicorn. How oh, pretty. That now, is, that a is pretty really a pretty too. unicorn. I love this like swirly that they've been doing on all the magical creatures. Yes. Yeah, it's a nice So touch. it's a nice like blue and white unicorn. Very pretty. I like that. Okay, well finally we got something that, you know, makes a little more sense and Hey. The wand makes sense that it's spells so you get a wand. I just don't know why it's rubber. <laughs> Now we have a Specto Patronum picture frame. So there it is. It's a cute idea, but it's a pretty cheap plastic picture yeah, frame. <laughs> so you have the Expecto Patronum written on there, and then you have the dough that uh, Snape sent out to Harry. So your picture would go behind that, and you would kind of have that in, like ethereal in front of you. I suppose if you thought ahead and took a very clever picture, it might be fun to, to mash them up. I mean, it's But really... yeah, I mean, it's it's super light, uh, really If that cheap fell off plastic. the wall one time, it would just break. Yeah, this is, um, this is kind of like the thing that you buy at a pharmacy, and you're like, oh my gosh, you know, you're, you're at like a Walgreens or CVS. You're like, hey, <laughs> they've got Harry Potter stuff, and then you buy it and take it home, and you're like, Oh, okay. Then. Oh, that says Harry Pooter. That the third floor corridor <laughs> on the right hand side is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to die a most painful death. Thank you. All right, so the last thing in the box is a Hufflepuff makeup bag. Now, this one's kind of fun because you can either leave it like this. And bake it, basically have it like lined. Okay. Or you can take the center bag out and you would have two bags. Okay. So it's kind of neat. You know, you can kind of have it two different ways, but it's got my um, badger on it and it's Hufflepuff. And then Revelio is the symbol on it. So That's awful close to Revlon, isn't it? Well, I think it's Revelio, like, you know, reveal your makeup secrets. Reveal. Your secrets. I can teach you how to bewitch the mind and ensnare the senses and even put a stopper in death. So that's kind of neat and handy. Okay. I like using these so bags. So that's something actually functional, something that you would actually put to good use too. Yes. So there's that. And inside the box, we have a lot of spells. Oh, that's kind of neat. Yep. So it's kind of a fun box if you want to turn inside out and just have a, you know, a storage box full of spells around. Yeah. I believe that house ghost is one that we were missing from a crate a while ago. So it's not even part of this it's box. It's not even part of this box. Okay, that's weird. But the problem is since it's not here, I don't know how to make it work. Figures. <laughs> but we did get everything. I'm going to find the, oh, it's an eraser. That there makes you a go. lot more sense now. And with Obliviate because you Yes, you're okay. Rid of that. All right, all right. So, you each box did get a different house, whatever house you're assigned to. Same thing with the different house candle and then the different house uh, spello tape. <laughs> the theme <laughs> was spells funny. and charms. How did they do with the theme? Honestly, I think they did a really good job. It was some weird stuff. Each item has a spell on it that yes. coincides with kind of what it is. You know, you have an incendio spell on a candle. You have a revelio spell on a bag. You have an eraser one that says obliviate. So you're going to erase things, I guess, because Patronuses are maybe right. transparent. So you'd have. I get so, that. Yeah. You know, unicorns are magical. They're just going with magical creatures with that. So honestly, I think they did a good job. It's with just the theme. that with the theme. OK. It's just kind of like random stuff. All right, so quality of the box. I don't think it's too bad of a quality of the box. The candles are, are kind of pricey, even though it melted. But, you know, bags, I, I find a lot of this stuff fairly useful. My major complaint, honestly, is the picture frame. That's just a pretty cheap quality. The rest of it, you know, I like this stuff, actually. It may be weird and eclectic, but so am I. <laughs> <laughs> I myself am strange and unusual. Well, finally got a box. We got more to go through. You seem happy with this one. Yep. Let's see if they can uh, keep that momentum going. Let's hope so. So, next box, next. please. All right, you want to grab the uh, wand and try to make this disappear? Obliviate! And there's the next box. Oh, look at that. 
about damn time. The letter says... Try Wizard Tournament. Looks like we've got Durmstrang. I don't want their pennant. Hogwarts. The Babatons. Bloody hell. It looks like we also have Potter Stinks and Support Cedric. The real champion buttons. Cedric already talked to them about wearing those buttons and not to wear them. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> sure he did. I've asked him not to wear them. Don't worry about it. He's like, I told them not to wear the buttons. You guys can totally wear the buttons. <laughs> okay, so we get one of those lovely cinch bags that I love to travel with, and it would appear that it is the golden egg that you rescue from the dragon and then put in the water, and the nice mermaid will sing you a song. Sure, sure. Give everyone the, the how-to on that. A good practical yeah. item, and it's... It's got some like fun designs all over it. You know, I don't think I ever paid enough attention I to the either. egg yeah. to see if it had designs. Got something big here. I think we have a beach towel. This is the stained glass window yes. from the bathroom with the mermaid on it. So pretty. I love this window. This is fun. I like this. Oh. And it's very appropriate because it's a stained glass window from the bathroom where you take a bath and you're going to need a towel. Now this, Pretty clever. yeah, it's clever. It's really cool looking. Um, a beach towel, again, practical, but so also practical. with this, I mean, this would be a great piece to, uh, to hang up, especially if you could put it up over your window in your room mm -hmm. and get that natural light to come mm -hmm. through and shine through it. Or hang it up on the wall like a tapestry. Yeah, this. castles have tapestries. That's pretty neat. All right, the last thing in the box is we have a shirt. And it looks like it's got the Hogwarts symbol on it with Hufflepuff uh, yellow coloring and the Triwizard Tournament cup. That was a port key. It's a port key. I know that you don't always like black t-shirts, but black and yellow for Hufflepuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool I like this it. One, then? Yeah, I think it's a fairly good shirt. Inside the box, we have the different house uh, mascots plus the Triwizard Cup. Oh, okay. I mean, you know, nothing real special, but it makes sense for the theme. Mm -hmm. And honestly, um, I'm thinking they nailed this I was going to say, I don't even think you need to ask me about this. This is almost a perfect on-par box for Harry Potter. I mean, you've got the three houses or the three schools that are competing. You've got basically movie props from the movie with the buttons. You know, you've incorporated the egg, the bathroom that you found the egg in, and then a nice <laughs> shirt, you know, that just kind of ties it all together. I think they did a splendid job. Perfectly splendid. Now, what do you think of the items themselves? So the theme they nailed, how satisfied are you with the items? Actually, I'm very satisfied. I really like the fact that these are kind of small. Yeah. Because they're not going to take up a lot of wall space. You know, they still look nice and you can still get the point across with them and everything. Towels are always practical, and like I said, I always recommend people travel with these. Keep them in the car, keep them in, you know, your suitcase or whatever. They're perfect travel things. Yeah, very handy, you know, for any reason you would need them, but of course, like shopping and conventions oh, especially. Oh yes, perfect for conventions. All right, well, seems like you got some good items out of this one. Yep, we're, we're doing better. We're moving up in the world. Yeah, hey, that's two boxes down, and both of them had some, you know, pretty fair items in there. So they're catching up. They're putting quality stuff in there, at least stuff that you like. Yes. So, all right, all right. We might have to cut them just a little bit of slack, but we'll see. We'll see. So, leave some comments down below on what you think of any of this. If you like the pennants, if you like the towel best, the shirt, maybe you're a Hufflepuff. You'd like to rock your own Hufflepuff yeah. pride. We're the best house. We all know it. <laughs> but don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell because there may be more Wizarding World boxes on the way. At least there should be. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh. We've got merchandise, and if we like it... 
we nerded. Now, let's go get this egg under some water so we can not listen to screaming for a change. Yeah, maybe this time we can figure it out before almost all of the bubbles are gone. <laughs> Uh, Bodie Bernal's creepy. She's a bit creepy. Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. Okay, so we finally got some wizardy. <clears throat> wizard, wizard. Apparently, we you're got... a, you're a drunk wizard, Harry. <laughs> Ready? Yep. All right, and what about the box itself? In. Okay, ready? Yes. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and it. Ready? Hufflepuff wins the Tri Wizard Cup. And Toby doesn't agree. <laughs> Do you, Toby? What's wrong? You're yelling at my mommy. Go scratch, scratch. Toby, try Wizard Cup. <laughs> Toby, Hufflepuff wins. Get it. Get the try Wizard Cup. <laughs>